Hey gorgeous, hey beautiful, wonderful people. It's me, Chidim, and I say welcome. <laughs> so I'm feeling myself, Jare. Let me feel myself. Just I love this hairstyle so much. I love it. So I want to show you guys how I made this branded ponytail wig and I hope you guys will like it so if you want to know how I made this please keep on watching so I'm starting off with showing you the type of wig cap I'm, I used in making this hairstyle so you can use any type of wig cap you have me I'm using what I have at hand so I'm starting off by cutting the left leg material because you can see that it has two materials in one so I don't need this part I'm cutting off now the left leg part I'm going to cut it off because I only need the next like material so I'm cutting off the left leg material on top of the wig cap then after cutting it off I'll go ahead and cut off the elastic band and SS stitches that the wig cap can win because I will not be using them. So once I'm done cutting off what the things, the stuffs I don't need, I'll go ahead to cut the net to my desired shape. So I want to get a kind of square like shape, yes, square like shape. So after cutting everything, getting it to the shape I want, I will go ahead and fold the edges of the net. So I'm going to sew down the, sorry, fold the net to some point and sew it down with my needle and thread. You can use your sewing machine if you have, but in my case, I don't have sewing machine, so I'm going to use my hand and needle and thread. Yes, I know you might be thinking if it is look smooth at all. Yeah, it looks very very smooth. So I'm going to do this round the edges of the net to create that wonderful look through which your rope or um, elastic band will pass through. So as you can see, using the needle and thread is not difficult at all. Who doesn't know how to use needle and thread? Just very simple. Pass the needle through and bring it out. It's not that difficult. So you just watch the one doing it. If you don't know how to use your needle and thread, just watch it carefully, closely to see what I'm doing.
so this is what it looks like after sewing it round. so at this point you can go ahead to attach the sew to sewing your wig comb those little small combs attach it at the two ends of this cap the front and the back and also at this point also you also attach put on your elastic band through the loop I created already so but I lost the picture or the video the clips of how I put the elastic band so how I put the elastic band is not that difficult just create a hole at the back of the cap then put the one of the uh, one end of the elastic pass it through the loop and bring it to meet the other end of the rope or elastic so I'm starting off with the next step which is braiding part so I have to attach the um, wig cap to my mannequin head using my pins So now I am sewing in the braided hair onto the wig cap because I have already pre braided my hair. What I'm just going to do now is so simple using my needle and thread to sew it on the wig cap. So at this point, you have to be very, very careful when you're doing this part because I'm not sure why I'm sewing it on the edges of the wig cap because. You don't want to end up closing the loop or sewing it on the elastic band because if you close the loop or sew it down or sew it on the elastic band it's not going to it will not make the elastic band to move freely when you want to draw it okay so watch carefully how i am sewing it in i will sew it to the round first of all i fill in I am um, the edges of my wig cap. I'll make sure I sew it so close enough so that there will not be enough sp too much space in between them. So this is what it looks like after braiding around the edges of the wig cap. So I'm going in to fill in the inside. So here I'm going to first tie the sewing in. You can sew it anyhow, anyhow you want. But me, I'm going to sew it row by row. Okay. You know there are different ways to kill a wrap. Any whichever whichever method works for you. You do it here but make sure that you fill in the topmost part of the wig cap very very close enough so that there won't be enough because that's the most important part and that is the most attractive part of the wig cap because the braids at the front will cover the ones at the back okay so the area of concentration should be the utmost topmost part of the wig cap
so after filling in the recap I have some like eight strands of braided hair left so I'm going to use them to fill up some spaces at the top of the recap to make the front the top look fuller so guys unfortunately I lost the clip of how I installed the wig on my head so what I just did was basically use uh, my bobby pin since I did not use wig comb but I don't have any at hand so I used my bobby pin to secure the wig around my ponytail then use the dress, um, the elastic band to tie it down after that I used some strands from the wig from the braid to go around the my ponytail to make it look more cheeky so that guys that's it for the video hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy it please give me a thumbs up comment share my video hope to see you guys in my next video bye